Hello, hello, hello everybody and welcome to my Hermitcraft series. My name is Alex and today we are gonna be having a lot of fun at Milky MC server, which is basically a fan-based Hermitcraft. I wish it was original, but unfortunately, unfortunately, a girl can dream, you know, a girl can dream. Behind me you can see a bunch of portals and they're styled in the same theme as the district they lead to. So we are allowed to build in any of them, but you've got to pick one to start with and then you can change it any time. However, you have got to commit to one for now. And of course, I have picked an apocalyptic district. I want to guys quickly show you the map of the server so you know where all the districts located. So here's our beautiful map of the season. You can clearly see that it's much, much bigger than the original Hermitcraft series. And all that is because there are many more players on the Milky MC than in the original Hermitcraft series. On the bottom right, we have got uh, Old West with cowboys and horses. And right next to it, you will see an apocalyptic district. This is our home for this season. We will be able to move somewhere else, but I don't know if I really want to yet. In the bottom left corner, represented by Peppa the Pig, is a fantasy district. And in between fantasy and apocalyptic, there is a big and fun gaming area. Moving up north, there's free build and city area, right next to it an industrial district, with a main shopping area in between all of them. And in the top right, there's a space sage area with all the futuristic builds. Right next to the spawn hub or to the right there is a oriental area and the last but not least there is a historical district which includes Greek and Roman and all, all, all the stuff that your historical soul desires. And of course the rest of the space is reserved for other districts if they happen to appear a bit further into the season or maybe extension of gaming district, extension of shopping district maybe a pixel art area for maps and all this kind of stuff. So there is plenty of room to grow. I'm really excited to start and to show you guys what I have already been up to. Let's go. And here is our little portal. It's gonna lead us to our area, which is apocalyptic. It's got flames, it's got little bushes, it's got fire, it's perfect. As you can see, there are all the other portals in the main hub. This is a space age, which is absolutely beautiful. And I'm not sure what that is. That's, that's a free build. That's a free build portal. Unfortunately, I didn't build it. I wish. Um, all the portals lead to different areas, a different district, and they all styled differently for each district. So you guys let me know if you want to see all the portals and all the areas in the main hub. For now, let's have a look at the main main hub in the apocalyptic district which is also very beautiful it's got little towers and lava i'm an absolute fan of the blackstone it just looks absolutely awesome so it's right in the middle of the desert which is not a super beginner friendly location but we can work with that so let's go straight into a mining session I decided not to waste any time and go for mining straight away and get a basic set of armor, get a bunch of iron, get all the tools ready for us to start. And of course for the first farm that I'm planning on making on the season, which is pumpkin and melon farm, I had to collect some redstone, I had to craft pistons and craft observers so we can get to work right away. I promise you, I was trying my best not to die, but here's a little clip of in the end of my mining station, I got wrecked by skeletons and zombies. <sighs> and here we are in our little cave, in our starter base, with almost a full set of diamond armor, ar 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 armor. A basic street mine over here, of course, with doors, because I've got killed a few times while I've king. Of course, that's me. Basic cow farm, we've got a nether portal, the stairs that go all the way up, and furnaces, just basic setup with a few chests. So it's basically no five-star hotel. However, I think it's time for us to start making our pumpkin and melon farm. All right, I'm trying to clear out this little area for pumpkin and melon farm, but I'm clearly struggling to count today, apparently. There's that. I also have never built a farm like this before, so I'm assuming it's just basic piston observer action, but I guess we'll find out. There's also been a lot of mob noises from somewhere. I don't know what's happening, but ah! Stay away, stay away, stay away, stay away. Stay away, go. Oh, that scared me so much, so much. Oh. 
I'm going to be looking everywhere now and I'm also going to be paranoid for the next hour. Thank you so much, Mr. Zombie. Oh. Seriously, I'm now going to have to go and investigate like somewhere up here. Anyways, let's get going with the building. Otherwise, I'm going to have a heart attack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Almost perfect. Don't pay attention to 11th block I mind right over there. What's a mistake? And bop. I think we're done with placing blocks. Let's start placing rails and create a final collection system. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. <gasps> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 1. Oh, that's a wrong one. And bop. Alrighty, let's go. Whoa, 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 Well, this is the basis of our collection system. Well done, arts. Let's, um, what's going on there? Why do we stop? Well, never mind me. It's all ready to go now. Let's, um, go have another satisfying look on the... Ah, oh, dang it. Go, go. Let's... <sighs> Go. And run. Alright, this is our collection system. That's it. The hardest bit is out of the way. Let's get placing dirt, pumpkins, and observers, and pistons. Funsies. And this is it. I've placed all the dirt and I also placed a fancy water on the middle. It's fancy because it's on a slab and the collection system is still working. Yes, it is. But I realized that I forgot a glowstone. Um, so we've got to go get that. Well, this has been a really fun adventure for glowstone, which I completely have forgotten about. Here we go. And now we'll have to make our way back to our base. I'm not sure where to go. I usually get lost in a no, not this way. I usually get lost in the nether, but with the recent update, it's actually petrifying to be here. And I hate these hoglings that just everywhere and they keep chasing me like this one. They keep chasing me and I have like, what, two, two now chasing me? It's terrifying. Terrifying. Go home. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm going. I'm gonna hide. I'm gonna hide here forever. No! No! Go away! Oh, don't hit me! Please, run, run, run. We're running. That's it, we're running. Uh, I'll have to deal with them. My apologies. Just give me one minute. I have found my way out. And they're still chasing me. I don't know how many of them are there. Oh, let's just get out of here. I'm out of here. Bye, everyone. Well, this was a hell of an adventure. <laughs> and all for a tiny bit of glowstone. Anyways, let's get hoeing. Ho, 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 ho. Ho, 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 ho. We're all done. But pretty often I can be really, really wrong. Hello. Hello. I decided to speed up a little bit. You guys don't have to see every single block I place. I also got a little bit tired of booping into the microphone. However, the most satisfying thing was placing redstone on top of the observers. And that's it. Our farm is done. We just gotta tidy this up a little bit and wait until these little babies grow. And we're gonna go FK and see how many melons and pumpkins this farm will bring us. And here is our beautiful farm. I'm going to tidy up a little bit more around it off camera. 
but I decided to go AFK overnight and of course my game crashed at some point at night so I had to go AFK while editing the video and this is what we have bunch of melons bunch of pumpkins I can't even be bothered to count all the stacks so we are all ready to go for villager trading and I totally feel like a pumpkin and melon queen right now but unfortunately this is all we've got time for today's episode this is the first video I've ever made, so don't be shy and drop a like if you like my video. Also subscribe to my channel for some more videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.